and gentlemen, it is about 8 o'clock. We are headed out to uh, Rayford, North Carolina, and uh, we're going to go support one of our sponsors and show the car off. We got Autumn and Nugget with us. Uh, Mr. J asked us to come and display the car uh, at a event he's putting on for the 22 a day. Um, what that is about is uh, veteran suicide, and uh, it's just, it's really not a good deal. Thankfully, I've never lost anybody like that, uh, but there's plenty of people out there that feel like there's no other way to cope. So, we're gonna go show our support, and uh, I hope to see some of y'all there, and maybe even find some new subscribers. But, uh, we're in the bus again this weekend. We weren't able to get the toter and the trailer going. I believe that one of the cylinders has actually gone bad on the trailer. Um, and you know, it's part of it. it, is what it is. We'll hopefully get that thing fixed. Um, the good thing is, uh, a friend of my, my dad's has offered me his enclosed trailer to go up to Potomac. So uh, that, that will be pretty good. We'll be able to take the toter and his trailer and uh, you know we'll make that trip and we'll make it uh, make it the best we can. It's it's definitely nice to have that uh, trailer because I can have everything I need. It's like a mobile shop, but unfortunately, it's just uh, it's not a uh, part of the plan, I guess. So we're just gonna continue to do what we got to do to make it out of these race tracks. I'm super excited to try this car tonight at County Line. It's got the uh, 406 we uh, picked up in it. Hopefully we'll have some good luck. It sounds mean in the shop. I haven't been able to drive it yet, but I'm sure she's going to be just fine. It's right out of Modified Country. It's a uh, HP machine uh, 406 built for you when we modified. Uh, it should be a good little piece. So uh, with that being said, the 355 is on the market. It's anybody's looking for a good late model motor um, obviously I will be against getting rid of it because I have no plans to race the late models I just can't afford it I have to almost drive with somebody and uh, hey maybe that'll happen one day and you know it'll be part of it all right guys we're out here at the man 22 suicide awareness run got the car set up we're out here for uh, Mr. J with Axis Investigations Firm. Love doing this kind of stuff for sponsors. Gives me an opportunity to, you know, show what I do and uh, get their name out there and into, into the public. Um, wish the car wasn't so beat up, but we got it pretty straight. Got the bus and then the mini bus. Short bus express. <laughs> Nugget. What you think about all these people jumping out the sky? They just keep falling, huh? So there's like a little airport right here and they actually skim this pond but uh the drop zone right over there but uh yeah it's pretty cool so you can actually see some of the people over there maybe if i zoom in yeah all those jumpers over there all right guys so we're here with mr j and uh he is uh axius investigations firm so i'm gonna let him kind of tell you about that and tell you all about the event we're at so uh, Axios Investigations Firm is a uh, security investigations company. Uh, we specialize in security, security consulting. Uh, we also specialize in investigations as far as uh, counter, counter surveillance, counterintelligence, uh, and also we do some private investigations as well. Uh, our company's it's been founded by all veterans, so we're an all veteran uh, company and uh, all the people that work with us are 100% veterans, so uh, we really enjoy uh, helping the veteran community uh, get licensed, uh, as well as uh, find alternative careers to uh, making a better life for their families and themselves. Uh, so that's ultimately what we do. Uh, we do a lot of also technical surveillance countermeasures, which essentially for corporate offices and companies, we uh, we kind of check to see, they call it bug sweeping, so we do a lot of bug sweeping, got a, a team that does that. So. Uh, we're pretty multifaceted, but uh, we kind of keep it to a four essential uh, uh, four essential groups, which is again research, intelligence, surveillance, uh, bug sweeping, and then of course uh, counter surveillance and security. So that's ultimately what our, our company is. 
and today the run is part of our, our foundation which is called Axios Inspires Foundation. Axios Inspire Foundation is the, the sort of the parent for this organization through Tragedy Comes Light. Uh, Enrique Morello uh, founded a, a parking lot dedication as well as the Man 22 Suicide Prevention Run. And that's why we're out here today. Uh, the, the Man 22, the Man 22 uh, run is basically designed to remember the 22, uh, and I'm sure everybody knows the 22 killed, 22 uh, suicides that happen for military members uh, on a daily basis. So he's here and he creates these events that we support to make sure we honor those who, who have died and uh, through those means. And of course also to bring awareness and prevention. Uh, that's the key element is uh, we try to do positive traumatic growth rather than just basically do uh, awareness because awareness is good. Everybody knows that a lot of the military members kill themselves, but we try to do positive uh, growth in that regard too as well because then we want to make sure that we can help stipend some of that uh, some of that uh, suicide and uh, so today's event is going to be great we got a 2.2 mile run they got uh, we're going to do jumpers that are going to jump over the pond uh, we got vendors out here uh, it's and we of course got the anthem and we do a lot of uh, uh, people that speak on uh, suicide and, and their what has affected their lives and the really great thing that I also love is that a lot of the roadway uh, that the run has these little markers uh, that maybe you could see later that have uh, some of the fallen uh, the fact that all the people that have basically fallen through suicide uh, to remember them while we run so uh, it's a, it's a great event and we're very proud to be a part of this especially my company as well and uh, again, our foundation. So this is just an amazing event. And we appreciate you and nothing but dirt. And of course, James Brooks, who also comes out and, and, and supports you as well and, and supports this event. So we're very excited to be a part of this. And of course, appreciate all the sponsors and vendors as well. have uh, made it to county line um, I want to say it again to Jay thank you for having us be a part of uh, such a you know eye-opening event um, veteran suicide is a real thing and uh, it, it's very <laughs> very uh, eye-opening to see how how many you know people ha you know just were rep being represented it's a uh, very humbling and breathtaking all at the same time. But uh, I, I'm I'm thankful as a you know fixing to be a veteran myself. I'm very thankful that there's guys out there you know to help because um, I, I know it, it's not always the easiest thing to do. It's uh, a lot of a lot of time away from your family and uh, a lot of uh, just you know a lot of stuff that some people just don't want to do and for uh every veteran that does serve it's 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 a lot and uh i think anybody would tell you that but to all the veterans never feel like there's uh a, a, another way um there's all there's always another way don't don't let your uh, mind get the best of you there's always somebody out there that that uh wants to be there for you and help you and get you through these things um but yeah so we're done with that now we're at the track appreciate y'all for watching i hope that you kind of got something out of it uh if you were there i appreciate you coming and supporting a bit like that um, uh, from my understanding it's like every year they do it and they try to do it in may around the 22nd um, anyways appreciate y'all and uh, comment down below and, you know, give, give some support that way if you weren't able to be there. We are fixing to, uh, we just changed the gear. Didn't get any video on it, I'm sorry, but a little bit of chance of weather, so we're leaving the bus until last minute. We got spark plugs put in this motor. Um, you just, eh, probably about time to uh, 
put some plugs in it uh you know i i, I want to be able to see what the car is doing with the carburetor the new motor all that kind of stuff so to do that you got to change your plugs and uh then you can read them but anyhow we're gonna get to it and uh we will get with y'all when we're done and unload. Well, guys, uh, I don't think we'll be racing tonight. Went out and rolled the track in, and when I backed it into the pits onto the lift, we lost oil pressure. Um, the deal I got probably was a little bit too good to be true. However, I've got the block, which you can't really find right now, and a good set of heads. So we'll uh, send the night out. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So uh, just a little uh, breakdown of Saturday night. Uh, not at all the way we wanted the night to go, you know. We uh, went up to the county line after we went to the event for uh, Mr. J with Axios Investigations Firm. I've been saying this, that, his uh, business name wrong the entire time. But uh, as everybody saw, um, we put a new motor in the car, and unfortunately, uh, just luck of the draw. Uh, we went to roll the track in, and it looks like we drug the oil pan coming off the track and uh when that happened it of course happened right at the uh pickup for the oil pump and the oil pan was pushed up into it however we uh we've got it fixed now um i pulled the pan off uh missionary and i looked at everything we did lose oil pressure but I shut it off immediately, um, and uh, I don't think we heard anything. So that's the good news. The bad news is we got this car dirty packing the track, and just it's one of those things. We didn't get to make no laps, but uh, however, the car is back together, and we are good on oil pressure. We got, you know, 60 pounds at idle. You rev it up, it moves up, you know, 80 pounds. So we're gonna take our chances, head on up to Potomac Speedway. Some more good news is, uh, looks like we might have a trailer. Um, I got my buddy Greg, he's uh, coming over here tonight and we're gonna try to get this cylinder back in top or back in on the trailer. Uh, it's kind of one of those things where I can't really do it by myself. If I tried, I'd probably end up falling off or hurting myself or something crazy. And uh, I've learned in the past, and Jamin also said he'd come kick my tail if I try to do it myself. So he's gonna come over and he's gonna give, us, give me a hand getting the center back in and hopefully that'll solve our issues. Um, huge shout out to Sanford Hydraulics out here in Sanford, North Carolina. They really took care of me. Um, didn't charge me a dime and uh, they just, they have race cars themselves. And, uh, you know, I just went in there and we taught racing for a little while. And it turned out it was just a little snap ring. Um, there's a rod that is internal of the piston and uh, it was letting fluid bypass. And that's what all the issue was. So uh, huge shout out to them. And uh, if y'all tune in, I know you're a little bit older, but if y'all tune in on the YouTube channel, I appreciate y'all. We're gonna throw them up on the car. It's about as least we could do for them. They wouldn't let me pay them anything, but uh, Nugget and I were about to push this car out and uh, get it washed up and ready for Potomac. I'm looking forward to the trip up there to Maryland, um, especially if we get to take the big trailer. You know, it's just, it just makes life so much easier, but uh, it's nice having the whole shop with us, you know what I'm saying? But. Uh, yeah, we're about to get to work, get this thing cleaned up. She's uh, mighty dirty and really sucks. Like I say, we didn't even get to play, no. We didn't even get to play, and uh, we still got something to clean. But, hey, part of racing, we all know it. It's what we signed up for years ago when we decided we wanted to be race car drivers, and uh, it's also one of those teaching and learning moments for my son. So we'll, uh, we'll take it, do the best we can with it, and move on. We're looking forward to uh, Potomac. Come here, buddy. You looking forward to going and seeing Mr. Mike? Huh? You going, hey, whoa. That thing's dangerous. Well, we're looking forward to going up and seeing Mr. Mike Stello, no matter what. So uh, that's the cool thing is we've met some really cool people through this racing deal. And uh, I just, I love how racing is so family oriented. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 
Really looking forward to going up there and seeing Mr. Mike. I ain't seen him in a little while. Matter of fact, we ain't seen him since last year. Uh, he come down here about a month before we went down to Florida and handed me a check to, to help our expenses to go down there. And that's kind of where our relationship started. And now it's just carried on to him continue to help us out. And uh, what he does for us, it, I wouldn't be able to race if, if it weren't for what he's doing, you know. And, you know, him and Mr. J, they, they've, uh, and just everybody on this car, they, they all played a critical role. And if it weren't for them, I wouldn't have been able to get this 406. And this is going to be the uh, the game changer, you know what I'm saying? So there ain't nothing wrong with that 355, don't get me wrong. It just, it's a great motor when you're running against like motors. And uh, I just, I, if I could hold on to it, I would. But unfortunately, I've got a motor bill for the SB2 that I got to take care of. So, I'll have to get rid of it. Be nice to hold on to because this is late model country and maybe one day I'll look, find myself in a late model or find somebody with a late model and maybe they needed a motor and I had a motor and maybe we could work a deal where we shared a car or something and, you know, just, I want to get in a late model one day. Just uh, financially, I can't afford it right now and, you know, that's uh, nature of the beast. But we're going to stick our, stick it out with these modifies. I love modifies. It's my favorite class. Always has been, always will be. I feel like it really takes uh, a little bit more skill to, to drive one of these things with, you know, just everything that goes into it. It's a lot of power on a tiny little tire and, you know, just the way, uh, the way I look at it. But, hey, nothing against you late model guys. Y'all do a hell of a job with what y'all got. And, uh, yeah. So, anyhow. Another shout out to Sanford Hydraulics for getting this fixed up. We're going to get this cylinder in tonight and uh, hopefully all goes well and we can say, hey, the trailer's fixed and uh, ready to go. As of right now, motor's ready to go in this hot rod right here and we're going to be headed up to Maryland this weekend. Not a lot of maintenance to do this week. A few things I want to do on the car, go through and uh, see if we can... Uh, you know, maybe we miss something. But hey, I look at uh, life as everything happens for a reason. Uh, God's got us a path set out, and whatever's on that path, that's what uh, that's what we're gonna deal with. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna get on it and uh, walk. Around.